Thank you. Uh, sorry, I didn't get your name. But uh, thank you for that very passionate uh, presentation. Uh, but I think that my own question is, is, um, is directed at the issue which you reacted to. And you have not addressed that issue. And that was the issue of the types of um, funds that are raised in other countries, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, compared to what we are doing in our industry with a population of over 200 million people. And I think that is one of the key issues that goes to the heart of this investigation. Um, uh, that's number one. Number two, I don't think, uh, and I think sometimes, yes, you may have some negative press here and there, but, um, but one thing we have not done in this Senate is to accuse you of anything. So I want you to kindly make the distinction between any negative press you are receiving and the attitude of the Senate committee towards you. We have not accused you of anything. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I want to make that distinction extremely clear. Uh -huh. So we have not accused you of anything. We are here to conduct, we are here to conduct an investigation based on a referral from the floor of the Senate. And the, refer and the referral is simply on your non-compliance or on the non-compliance with a Federal Executive Council directive. Uh, uh, you know, and, and that is really what we are here for. So uh, let me ask you to react because in the motion we talked about the, the comparison between what you generate here in Nigeria as an industry and what similar industries with a much, much lower population are, are generating in Senegal, in Ivory Coast and in Burkina Faso, to name just a few. We are not even going to name other jurisdictions. Why is it that in Nigeria it is so low? And then we have a figure of, uh, we have these figures of uh, these huge disparities. Why? Why? What is the reason? This is what creates the stench. This is what creates the stench and the suspicion. If you must know, that is what creates the stench and the suspicion. So I think in your, in your, in your, in your presentation, you need to go straight to these issues. There are many industries that have these problems, but I think they are effectively able to address them. Uh, you need to address it in your industry and tell us what, wh why it is that you are doing so badly in terms of generating revenue from which we can tax and, cre and have money for this country. Are you, we were talking about, we talked, no, uh, you talked for some time, let me to talk small. Uh, we, had, we, ha we have had issues um, in this Senate where we've talked about things like illicit financial flows and so on, where there's a lot of, uh, hiding, of, uh, hiding, of t hiding of revenues and hiding of this and hiding of that. I hope that this is not such a case. So please um, respond. The percentage that the operators are supposed to pay. Uh, and he said... The... ES is very, very unfair. Is ES saying is above the Senate? The ES keeps referring to a 2005 Act, whereas there's a 2017 amendment which this Honorable House, the Senate, passed. So, why will we keep going back to 2005 when there's an amendment of 2017? What, sir? Let me go back. When the 2020... Please, just give me five minutes. Let me explain something. There is... There... And the United States and the UK and the lottery they operate. It's, a, it's something called a parametric lottery, whereby you make your sales, you say a certain amount goes to price fund, and a certain amount goes to expenses, and then a certain amount goes to government. That kind of lottery does not work in Nigeria because it produces 
a few very big winners. And that's all. So we took the Lotto 590 from Ghana. 590 produces a lot of very small winners. Okay? When that initial act was written, it was written because one company, um, National Sports Lottery, wanted to do the lottery in Nigeria and there was no enabling act to it. When we introduced our own lotto, we said the maths do not work because one gives you the ability to pay 20%, one gives you, does not give you the ability. And they went to um, all the way through the House, through the Senate, until an amendment was made that, okay, in recognition of this new game, you will pay, I think it's um, 5 or 7 percent of your profit, your net profit, to the Commission, which is what we have been doing. I believe the chairman um, was a member of the last. Um, you are chairman that 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 um, that passed the amendment. So it's very surprising when we keep going back to 2005, when there's an amendment in 2017. Are we saying that this 2017 amendment does not exist? So that is. Um, the answer on that, sir. On the, sec on the second one, sir. I, I, sir, on the second one. I, I tried to explain it, but you did not understand. When you say um, Burkina Faso are doing this revenue and that one are doing that revenue, that is not the money that is going into the government's pocket. It is the total sales they are making. No, sir. It is the total sales they are making. Okay, so, sir, sir, let us, let us, take, let us take something now. There are over 100 operators in Nigeria. Okay? I'm just one. And if you take my revenue, if you take my revenue, it is close to these figures, you are saying, but it is not my profit, and it is not what I can pay government on. That is number one. Number two, when we start to say 200 million, 200 million Nigerians, do not forget that we have states in Nigeria that do not allow us to operate because they do not allow gambling. So you cannot say 200 million. Let us take those states out first. How many of us are left? Okay, what we are left, divide by 100. We didn't say that. When we say the population... Sorry, so you were... So this, this, these countries, we're having this revenue, and Nigeria with a population of 200 million. Nobody said 40% of 200 million. I was told Nigeria with a population of 200 million. That what you are, you also when you even take those forty when you take that forty percent, this thing is is split amongst tens, tens of and if not hundreds of companies. So um, when people say the figures are not correct, I think we are not looking at it properly. Uh, again. Is there any of you that is against playing it in Nigeria? Sir, all of us are going to government based on the fact that we are playing it. What we are against is that somebody should come and say, I am Queen B, all of you will work for me. I will take the money, I will take a commission, and then I will give the balance to the government. That, that, that is... I, I, but is, we, there we, any, we, is there any law? Is there any law that forbids uh, somebody getting the franchise? That is something for the courts to 
address that. And th this case isn't caught. So we need to let things run the course. The case being in court does not stop the government from getting revenue on the Ghana Games. The rev until the case is finished, the government still continues to get their revenue. But they will get 100% revenue from each and every operator that so, is operating so the, the, the Ghana Games. The problem of uh, you get the money Instead of giving it direct to government, you give it to him, then he will now give to government. And take commission. And take his own commission. Is that your problem? That's not the problem. That's, that's, that's what, what I want to know. That's not Come on. So. I want to know now because... Let, let, what, yes, what is the problem? Because there are lots of problems, sir. No, no, number no. one, number one, sir. An operator cannot be a regulator. If we all agree to that, then the terms of settlement is totally flawed. Because the terms of settlement that the National Lottery Regulatory Commission signed gave their power as regulator to an operator. An operator okay, can cannot you, can, be... Sorry, sir, please. Can you read the other page portion of the, that gave, the, gave you to, so that we can understand? The portion that gives the power. First defendant. Plaintiff and the first defendant, um, I'm coming, Is that shall jointly, the, the consultant shall jointly be appointed by the plaintiff and the first defendant in consultation with the plaintiff and in accordance with the terms of agreement may not be disengaged without the consent of the plaintiff. Is that the, so, is sir, is that the, the terms of settlement? Yes. That is the terms of settlement. Yeah. So you are telling me that, uh, what do you call it? You are telling me that a consultant will be appointed. That consultant cannot be appointed without the consent of an operator. Cannot be sacked without the consent of an operator. That's number one. So they are given the power to regulate, to to um, our operator. You now say, um, Where are you from? I have the terms of agreement, I'm just reading from my phone. That whatever is due to government will be paid to the consultant that is appointed by an operator rather than did with... You, did, did you say, did, did your statement here yes, did not say that the operator appoint, the, what they are saying appoint, is the, NLC, the NRC appoint? What, sir? The power to appoint yes, sir. rest with the Nigerian Lottery Commission. No, sir. I read what you said. I, 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 will, I, will, I, will, I will read it again. Yeah, now. read it. <laughs> read it again. <laughs> I promise, sir. Uh, <laughs> which is the National Lottery Go Regulatory ahead. Commission, yes. shall establish a regulatory office to be managed by a consultant, okay, who, who shall be jointly appointed, jointly appointed by the plaintiff, that is Western Lotto, and the commission Go ahead, yes. and that consultant cannot be uh, cannot be appointed except the plaintiff agrees let me ask you so, so Ghana lottery commission yes sir and Ghana lottery commission is appointing somebody no. you are no sir answer. can we please can I, can I please is there a, a, a dg did you receive, uh, is there any letter from Ghana Lottery Commission conveying or I mean, um, saying that this is our, the person who gave the franchise? No, we don't have any. So, company or uh, company A or Z is the, has our franchise? No, we don't have any. 
So what, how do you come to say that a, car, a company went and got, uh, got a franchise? You said it in your presentation here, that if they had informed you that you would have, when you were making your presentation initially here, if, you said before, as an addition, that a company, you say Western Lotto, went and got a franchise. And that if they had informed you, that you would have told them one or two things. Yes, I did mention that if they had informed me, if they had informed the commission about being presented with evidence of that. You have not been, you have not been presented with evidence of uh, that? Yes, in fact, I did, we did write uh, the NLA uh, for confirmation. I've never got a response back from them. As far back as September 2020, Correct. you didn't get a letter from NLA. You told us, and I have a letter here directed to you as far back as second, uh, September 2nd, 2020, signed by the Director General of NLA to you. And you have also, in the statement himself has even read now, which it, which it, that's the, the man from Premier, you have a terms of agreement which himself is questioning. You, you must have entered in that terms of agreement based on certain th uh, documents. You cannot just enter a terms of agreement with somebody without any document and without anything. There must be a document that confirms that this is the person who owns this plot. Because he owns this plot, I am now doing this. Is there anything like that? Yes, like I said uh, earlier, we have Western Lotto and also to you on that agreement, we should use 2017 amendment or the 2017 amendment law, which we have. So, so um, and I, and I stand by what I said. I haven't received any letter from NLA. I did, we did write them, but we didn't receive. My office did not receive any letter from them. Mr. Chairman, sir, 